Hi YouTube, today I'm coming to you with a special video, Natasha Pole's Cannes look. Um, this is from the film festival of Cannes and L'Oreal was the official sponsor. So this look is basically a green with black, sort of interesting smoky eye with a very neutral rest of the look. And then it comes with a fishtail loose bohemian hairstyle. So to get started, we're going to start with our Magic Lumi Primer by L'Oreal. This is going to start out by evening our skin tone and giving us a really beautiful luminous angelic glow. You just want to blend that in everywhere. It's really easy to apply. And the next product we're going to get to is our foundation. Now the product I'm using here is the Visible Lift Repair Absolute. This a product is going to be available in July and it is my go-to foundation right now. You can see I've put quite the dent in it since I've had it. It comes with a little sponge applicator and it just applies really beautifully. You get a very, very even finish and it does have like a sort of dewiness to it. Uh, but it's also treating and preventing any aging. So you get a lot in this one product and I love it. It's one of my summer must-haves. It's definitely going to cut your foundation routine in half. I've been having some problem with my concealer creasing, so I've been using the L'Oreal Studio Secrets Magic Perfecting Base. Just a really tiny amount, and then I work it uh, right underneath the eyes, and it will keep my concealer in place and creaseless all day long. Speaking of concealers, I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer. It's actually a duo. It has the powder and the concealer in one. The color I'm using is Cool Sand. And you just want to take the concealer, um, definitely focusing on the inner corner of the eye because a lot of darkness can hide there, and just blend out until you get a nice brightened effect. Now I'm going to use that powder that it comes with, so convenient, to just kind of set everything and keep it in place. Now I'm taking the Visible Lift Serum Absolute Powder and I'm using that again on a flat brush and I'm just going to apply that in the areas where I get the most oil and um, just very lightly on the cheekbone area because I like to keep that area sort of dewy and natural. I think that it just makes your skin look much more alive and glowy. Now I'm going to contour using my Benefit Hula Bronzer. I'm just using a really small brush here. This is the Real Techniques contouring brush and I'm going to suck in my cheeks because Natasha has really, really high cheekbones and a very slim face, which I do not have. So this is going to be quite a process to sort of build my cheekbones um, kind of from nothing because I don't really have much of a cheekbone thing going on. So I am just working the Benefit Bronzer into the general area in a C shape to kind of build up my cheekbones. And next I'm actually going to apply it right to the um, two far sides of my forehead because I noticed that Natasha had a similar sort of bronzing and contouring effect. So I wanted to be true to life and so I included that. Uh, of course I am going to blend everything out ever so slightly. Next for blush, I'm going to be using Max Buff, but I'm going to keep it in the same general area and it's just to give it a slightly peachy tone, which Natasha also has in this beautiful red carpet look. And again, blending is your friend. Now I'm taking a little bit of Lip Plumper. This one's by Lip Fusion. This is going to help make everything look very hydrated and plumped for when we start our lips later. Now I'm taking my Anastasia Express Brow Kit and with really tiny strokes, I'm just going to fill in my brows. Natasha has a quite thick brows actually and I just concentrated on filling in my natural brow shape instead of kind of changing my brow shape. So you can do either or, it's up to you. Our next step is going to be eyeshadow base. Here's my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I'm just um, patting that in there. And next we're taking the L'Oreal Infallible Shadow in Amber Rush, such a gorgeous color. And I'm just using a little Q-tip applicator to start my little base coat here in the inner corner. I'm also using the same shadow in Iced Latte to get a little bit of a highlight in the inner corner and to give the look a lot of dimension. And then Golden Sage is sort of the star of the show. It's going to make this look really interesting and it's quite a bit of a surprise to see a sort of half green, half black eye. So now just get it really nice and blended in with those other two highlight colors. And we're gonna go back in with the Amber Rush a little bit later. Next we're taking a matte black shadow and using a pencil brush, I'm going to map out the area where the angled cat eye is sort of happening in Natasha's look. 
and it's quite easy to do if you just start with small little feather strokes. You don't even have to press that hard. And you don't have to worry if the line looks harsh because we are going to blend it a little bit later. So you just want to get the basic look down. You can try to fill it in with the pencil brush if you want, but if you feel like it's too time consuming, you can go right in with a different brush, like a flat brush, that's what I'm using here, to kind of press on as much black shadow as I can get. But I do it in thin layers so that I don't end up with raccoon eyes. Now I'm going in with the pencil brush again to get that underneath area of the eye to get that really um, definitely cat eye thing going on. And we're going to go into just about the inner third of the eye. And once we do that, I'm going to switch to a, sorry for the camera bump, <laughs> switch to a thinner brush. This one's an angled brush because you don't want it to be too thick of a black line closer to the tear duct area. You want it to be more precise. And now we're just lining with the L'Oreal Extra Intense Liquid Pencil Liner, my favorite eyeliner of the moment. And we're just going to get um, a little bit more of Amber Rush like I told you earlier and really concentrate that tear duct area with the Amber Rush. You can definitely see in the photographs that she's got something very similar going on. Now I'm just dusting away any excess. And here is where the blending starts. So now we are just going to Slowly just work the black shadow into the eye so that the line is not too harsh. And here I'm adding a little bit of a highlight, it's Max Mylar. Next I'm taking L'Oreal's Infallible Lacquer Liner. It's a 24 hour wear in blackest black. And this liner will be available in July. I'm just putting a very small amount, um, just a nice thin line to accentuate the lashes and accentuate the look. Uh, concentrating on the uh, tear duct area for sure because we want it to be a very full cat eye and I love the way this liner applies it gives you a lot of control and it applies really beautifully so the next step is to take your black pigmented eyeshadow again and just darken up the entire black sort of smoky portion and now I'm applying the voluminous false fiber lashes this is also in a black lacquer finish so it's going to be slightly shiny this is also available in July it's very similar to the original formula except it's got the sort of shine factor going on and I'm really loving it right now for summer now for the lips, I'm using L'Oreal's Infallible 6 Hour Liner in Nude just to give my lips a little bit of a pouty pop. And then I'm going to blend it out with my finger because we don't really want a harsh line or too much color. Now I'm taking the L'Oreal Infallible 8 Hour Lip Gloss in um, Sunset. And I think this is the perfect color for this look, but it helps to use a little bit of Rimmel's um, Summer Angel. It's kind of got more of a shimmer and more of a beigey tone, so I'm just using that in the very center of my lip. Now you can clean up the eye look with your L'Oreal Magic Lumi wand. Just blend that in and you are all set. This is the final look here with the hairstyle done as well. I really hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed doing it for you. Thank you to everybody that voted and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye for now.